All right, here it is the Yuikyo collapsible leak proof pet pool. Uh, that's how it arrived, that's how it presented after opening uh, the Amazon box. So on the picture it shows that it's for big dog and small dog. I have a German Shepherd, so hopefully it's going to fit her as well. We are going to find that right now. But first, let's see what's in the box and what you get opening the box, how it looked like, how the swimming pool looked like, all folded up. Anyway, as this is a swimming pool, you want to be careful when using uh, any blade to open the box like that, because you may puncture, uh, you may cut through the vinyl from the swimming pool and then that's it, your item is finished. So be careful, I'm going to use a minimum uh, length blade and be very careful when I open the box, like so, to don't go too deep and not damaging the vinyl of the swimming pool, especially on the top there. Not deep at all, that should be enough, here we go. All right. So at least they have been a little bit cautious and put this cardboard box on the top to avoid to puncture the swimming pool, see? Already just with my little blade not going too deep, already I uh, put a slit here on the cardboard box. So fortunately they put this cardboard box to protect the vinyl of the pool, otherwise I would have just cut through, through it immediately and then that's it, the pool will have been finished. So be careful with that, good that they tow about the cardboard protection. All right, let's remove the pool from the box. And that's all for the box itself. There we go, and that's how it's presented. So it's in this uh, plastic bag there with the instruction uh, right on the front here. It's to uh, show you how to unfold the swimming pool and how to fold it back after we are done. They also advise you to don't leave the swimming pool under the sun when not in use uh, and just empty it and store it in a dry area. But anyway, that's it. Swimming pool is here. Let's open it and let's put it together and see what we have. And also, of course, see if it fits the dog. Or I should say if the dog fits inside. Let's go. All right. Here is the area where I'm planning of putting the pool. And you will notice that I put this moving blanket here. It's just because I want to avoid any little stone uh, branches uh, any imperfection of the floor to give a chance to punch the, the bottom of the swimming pool so it's always better to install something under the swimming pool to avoid any damages to it especially since we are going to put water the way of the water plus the way of the animal there could be damages uh, on the bottom of the swimming pool if it rests directly on the rough floor and if there is any like little stone that you don't see etc so I prefer to put these uh, moving blankets under my swimming pool to reduce those chances. Anyway, that says, let's mount this or open it. It should be very straightforward. As I can see, it's just simply folded. So I just have to unfold everything. It's pretty straightforward, here we go. I have already a half of the swimming pool there and then up opening it like so it's all open it's open pretty quickly here and we do have here a drain valve that's very useful to empty the water once done because it's not really recommended to lift the swimming pool with the water inside it uh, with the weight it may uh, do some damage to the swimming pool so there is a valve here that allows uh, you to drain the swimming pool very quickly without having to tilt it over. But that's pretty much it. It's all open now. Here we go. It looks uh, quite nice. I like the color, the blue color. Uh, it looks less tall than I was expected, but a little bit bigger than what I was expected. So lose a little bit on the height, but gain a little bit on the size, if it makes sense. 
So before to go crazy with your swimming pool and put water immediately and then try to put your animal inside it, uh, I advise you to train the animal with the swimming pool empty first. Let the animal uh, know this area, which will be a little bit less scarier uh, if there is no water. So just bring your animal inside, make the animal smell, everything is new, they don't know it. So go very slowly, don't take your animal and throw it in the water right, right away. All you will do is just leave a negative memory on the animal about this swimming pool. So just go slowly, bring the animal, make them smell uh, the swimming pool as is like now. And then, you know, sit the animal inside and then make them smell around and then progressively uh, add a little bit of water, repeat until the animal feel comfortable and is happy with this swimming pool. Now to fill up the swimming pool, it's very easy. Just bring your normal uh, water hose here and then turn on the water and wait until at least 60% of the swimming pool is full of water. Going nice and slow and perfectly filling the swimming pool. There is no leak at all that I can see, so it's perfect. So, so far so good. I thought it could be useful if I give you some dimension of the pool, some real life dimension. So, give you an idea. Uh, from the bottom of the pool to the border here, we do have 11 inch and a half. So it's 11 inch and a half high. And the diameter is 47 inches. So we have 47 inches diameter. Up, uh, those uh, dimensions will help you to decide if this swimming pool is good for you and your pet or your kid, of course. Well, I'm going to let this uh, swimming pool fill up and then uh, bring the doggy later. But there we go, guys. You have an idea of this uh, swimming pool when you buy it. Uh, now you know the size and you know what to expect. All right. Thanks for watching. Hope this video has been useful for you. And don't forget to train your pet without water first. <laughs> All right. See you next time. Bye-bye. Fresh. <laughs>